Okay, let's have a go at solving this uh, moments problem. So suppose we're given this diagram and we want to find the force uh, in the support A, FA, and the support, uh, the force from this support, uh, FB. The way we do this is by taking moments about A and B. So the way to visualize that is when we take moments about A, we imagine that A is the pivot um, and these forces this one and the one from the mass are causing it to rotate this way and force B, FB, is causing it to rotate this way. It's pushing it up. Um, and so these divide into clockwise and anti-clockwise. Um, and we're going to measure all of our distances from A. So taking moments from A. So from A, what clockwise forces have we got? Cl clockwise moments have we got? Well, clearly the 200 is causing a clockwise movement. So we have force times distance, 200 times one plus 300 times, I'm gonna imagine this is in the, uh, in the middle of the beam. So that's times two equals the anti-clockwise one. So the anti-clockwise moment here is simply FB. We don't know what it is. FB times four meters. And now we can just go ahead uh, and solve this one. So we have 200 plus 600 is 4 FB, so that's 800 equals 4 FB, so FB is 200, and it's a force, so it must be in Newtons. So now we know this one up here, 200 Newtons. Let's do the same thing but this time we're going to take moments about B. So again, that means uh, if we take moments about B, we're imagining that this is a pivot and that FA is pushing it up and moving it clockwise. And then these two forces are pulling it this way and moving it counterclockwise, anticlockwise, however you want to say it. So. And as before, principle of uh, moment says that if it's in equilibrium, and it is into all these prep questions that we do, are always in equilibrium, uh, clockwise moments are equal to the counterclockwise moments. So let's, let's look at what we have here. Which, if, we, if B is our pivot, which of these forces are causing clockwise, um, clockwise and which ones are causing anticlockwise? Well, the 200 and the 300 are pulling it this way. Uh, so that's uh, uh, counterclockwise. Uh, so we have, and, we, and we're measuring all of our distances, by the way, from B this time. So 200, 200 newtons times what this distance is. So four meters take away one is three plus, and then the 300 times, and that distance again is just half of the beam. So that's two meters. And then let's do the clockwise. So the only clockwise moment we have here is FA. It's pushing the beam up this way, so that's clockwise. Uh, so we have F A times it's four meters from B. So this gives us four F A equals six hundred plus another six hundred. So four F A equals one thousand two hundred, and so F a equals 1,200 divided by 4, 300. And of course, Newtons, 300 Newtons. Um, and you should notice that there's a really pleasing uh, symmetry. It's actually worked out a, bit, a little bit too perfectly. Normally, these forces do not exactly equal these forces. It just so happens that I've chosen uh, the ratio in four, 4 and 1, so they are uh, they come out the same, but the idea is the upward supporting forces have to balance out the downwards weights of these two objects. So uh, the weights of these objects has to be perfectly balanced by these. So they must sum to the same number, in this case, 500 Newtons.